Welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. 3D! 3D! Ocarina of Time, originally released for the Nintendo 64. In 1998. In 1998. Well, for us at least. It's like 97, whatever. Was the first major step in the Zelda franchise into the 3D realm. So Ocarina of Time actually changed the game around a great deal from what we saw before that in games like Link to the Past and the original Zelda, which you've seen here on the channel. We've not done Zelda 2. That or Awakening. But um, the game was, at least somewhat recently, remade. About 2011, but that, that's still recently, yeah, more recent than recently. 98 was remade for the Nintendo 3DS in 3D. In the remake, they not only enhanced the graphics, the lighting, it's a f an actual proper remake. So you can see even the 3D models have all been drastically overhauled. Though just for you people out there who like screwing with games and glitches, they kept a lot of those in there just for you. Not the game breakers, but the nice ones that let you, like, beat the game in five yeah, minutes if one, you feel yeah. like it. The one that makes the game crash they got rid of. The yeah. one that lets you skip through um, the big fancy door that you can't do anything else with. That one's still there. Yeah. But, um, if you're moving ahead in the franchise, Ocarina of Time was... It's one of my favorite Zelda games. It's not my favorite eh. by far. I definitely like it. It's not my favorite. My favorite one is later down the line. But it's definitely a huge game that a lot of people, I feel like, give it a more criticism because they don't understand the time it came out in mm. and what it did was kind of really groundbreaking. Granted, at the time. Now it's not that big of a difference because, hey, we got twin sticks now. But for what it was and what it is, it's big and it's fun. And honestly, even going back and playing it again now... I think the game holds up well enough that it's still very enjoyable even it, to play now. It holds up well. I believe the 3DS one is the better because graphically speaking it's better looking, but you can go back to the original for the N64, the virtual console releases, that Master Quest CD that came out with uh, with uh, Wind Waker. And there is an amount of nostalgia in the 3D models from the original. Looking at the 3D models in the uh, he looks 3DS... Too, he looks it's, too handsome. It's too good looking. I don't like it. Where's his boxy look to him? Ugh. Oh, everything just looks too pretty and why, pristine. Why is there so much shading on him? <laughs> anyway. But, yeah, but without further ado, um, we're going to be trading off this game. Because it's we, really big. Yeah, as we occasionally do in these, so one of us isn't left just, like, watching uh, a screen for I don't know what long. to name them. You take it. Yeah. Um, so, Ogre's going to be starting. We're just going to keep him named Link. I'd, honestly, I know they give you the option to change the names, I but mean, I hate it when they give you, like, Link. a canonical name and it just kind of sticks. It's kind of like Chrono Trigger. Yeah. I know you can change his name, but it's Chrono, so it's Link to us. Yeah. He's Link. It'd feel weird to have him running around as not Link. <laughs> Though his last name shall be Von Smirnoff from now on. <laughs> um, as to when specifically we trade off, it's not a very... It's not a strict trade-off formula. It's We did a lot of effort and divided it up. We know when we're trading off. It was light out when we started that, and now it's dark. Yeah. But without further ado, let's begin Ocarina of Time. And delete. Damn it. This is my copy. Okay, so you have to name him first, then it takes you back here, then you can actually start the thing. <gasps> Today's the 30th of some month.
It's so 3D in here, I don't like it. <laughs> Hello? Uh, uh, no, not the paddle. Uh, five more minutes. Hey. Look, can I just have a nightmare in peace? <laughs> uh, that energy looks like a yellow beam, but it's green. Oh, I forgot to put pants on. <laughs> um, Link, for God's sakes, put <laughs> pants on. I know you're wearing shorts, but come on. I'm Navi the fairy. I'm gonna navigate you through this whole thing. Uh, uh, uh. Not like I'm doing anything else today. Dude, I guess. I mean... I don't got shit to do around town. Yeah, and they kept the same camera angles and neat stuff, but you'll notice this is actually a 3D environment now, instead of being a pre-rendered environment like it was in, in the 64. And I got a sink. I didn't know we had a sink. All right, let's get going. you run in slow motion? <laughs> because she wants to. Okay, well, I'll give that to her. It's sorry. She well, can do what she wants. Uh, <laughs> yeah, nailed it. <laughs> give me a second. My leg's broke. So how you doing, Saria? Dude, it's our house. Oh, man. I slept in the right house this time. <laughs> yeah, that last time after <laughs> we had that bender was really weird. That was just awkward. Well, I don't know if it's my fairy or anything. I, it's a more of a messenger fairy. She came here and told me to go talk to the. I Deaker could never fairy. pronounce that as a kid. Kokiri. I never knew how to pronounce that Kokiri. correctly. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, I've mispronounced everything in this game. You mispronounced every word. Everything in this game. You can't even pronounce the link right. You call it like lunkus. Um, Kokiri is how I always pronounced it. Kokiri. Yeah. I don't know, like, emphasis-wise, if it's Kokiri or Kokiri. It's Kokiri. Kokiri flows better. Kokiri sounds like you're eating something with cocoa in it. Well, that's even better. <laughs> now I want chocolate. I know, right? I really feel like something with nougat in it. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> Did you see his mustache? I don't know why a tree has a mustache, but it must be an honor to see that mustache. I mean, really, if a tree can grow a mustache like that, that is a heck of a tree. Yep. All right, uh, so we should probably... Oh, that's terrifying. This is here just for people who need hints and everything. We're not really going to use that because we're kind of okay at this game. Yeah, we it's Ocarina of Time. We know what yeah. we're doing. Okay, well, we got to go talk to the Great Deku Tree. Come oh, on, quit fudging around. Let's that's go talk to the Great talking about. All right, I guess I'll have you lead the way by me leading the way. Just roll into the side <laughs> of that sign there. I read by rolling. Great Deku Trees Meadow. All right, yeah. so... I somehow now have an understanding of this sign. Up here, where not Milo's at. No, I realized, um... The dude's name is... Mido? Yeah. It's not that I called him Milo, I called him Mido. Oh, Mido. Yeah. So, like, again, I don't know. Mido? Mido? I don't know what the mm. crap. But you said Mido, and then I... That's like, that's not right at all. Hmm. But then I went like, well, what did I say? It was my... But then for whatever reason, Milo came to mind as like, that's a sensible name. I must have said Milo. But it was yeah. it was Mido. My do, uh, my do is uh, Homer Simpson's memoirs. My do! <laughs> but yeah, Mido, Mido, I don't know. I always called him Mido. <gasps> yeah, he summoned me. What you gonna do about it? Bitch. I'm gonna freaking roundhouse kick you off to the side of this path. You let summon, me through. Why would he summon you and not the great Mido? What's with the fireflies around here? They're so weird. Hey, yeah, what is that trail coming after him? How does that crap work? They just have really long tails that also glow? Uh huh, but you've activated my magic card Sword and Shield. <laughs> 
Now your attack and defense are flipped. Wait, is he supposed to have a sword and shield? Dude, now I'm imagining I'm sure this he's whole... got one somewhere. Keep no. going, keep going. Now I'm imagining this entire village equipped with swords and shields. I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. So now he's not gonna let us get through here unless we have a sword and shield, so now we gotta figure out what our sword and shield is at. Okay, well, we can take you? a minute and talk to everybody. Well, so, we have to find something to cut it. Apparently we can cut grass. Our houses are here. I think this is the, the house of the twins. Uh... I don't think they're in. Oh, she's in. So there's a store. These are rupees. One of them is green and not yellow. To break them pots, we need money. Yeah, I'm just gonna. For steal reasons it. we'll discover later. I'm just gonna steal your life savings. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Did that freak you out, oh. audience? Ooh. Oh, there's money all over the screen. Just throwing money at everybody. Hey, we'll try the next house. Oh, the next house? This is Saria's house, I believe. Oh, well, let's look inside anyway. Uh, her house actually has hearts, so oh. you can go back here and heal up. But I don't think there's anything besides that. Yeah. See, then there's our poor house where poor people live who don't have anything. So you can rocks. pick up a rock, but you can't pick up bushes. Well, that root system. Go beat him up, Saria. Because we like each other. We're totally dating. She's like totally my Kokiri girlfriend and everything. She lives up in Kanda, you wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we can buy a shield at the shop, which we know has a red roof on it. And there's a sword hidden somewhere. Not here. like there's more than four houses in this stupid town. Uh, there are actually like one, two, three, four, five. Wait, 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 wait. There's five houses in a shop. Let's keep running. <laughs> There's like six places. This is Mito's place. This is the guy who teaches you how to pick up stuff. <laughs> By pressing A for some reason. Don't you have that A button? It's next to our magical square button. Oh yeah, I remember that A button. That's how I pick up stuff all the time. And then you find stuff in rocks. Sometimes. Ooh, like a rupee. Oh, I thought it was a day tree. Good. Oh, rupees. Eh. Uh, I must so have, many. I must have the rupees. All of the rupees, especially this one down here. Uh. Hidden behind the tree. Nothing up here that we can really do any now anyway. I think there's somebody up here that uh, doesn't let you into the forest. Or not, just go and get lost forever. That's cool. Good security there, guys. Yeah, that's the Lost Woods up there. We'll, we'll be back to that. We don't really need to go there yet. And for the moment, you can't do anything in there. A forest training center? Hmm. A training center sounds like a great place to get a sword at. A training center for forests. <gasps> Don't recklessly cut signs. Read them carefully. Gonna cut them. Hmm. Why is it teaching me something about attacks with a sword if I don't have one yet? Well, clearly we're going to get a sword at some point. <laughs> the whole of L? L? What? Yeah, and this is just because of the control scheme changing. This in the Ocarina of Time was called the Hole of Z. Mm. Because you used the Z button to go in. Link's a pretty fit guy, though, just to be able to, like, I'm just gonna do a backflip. Just whatever, I'm just standing here, gonna go whoop. Hey. Yeah, you get money for doing tricks like that. There, anyway. Well, yeah, you don't go around jumping in the field and getting free money for no reason. Just backflip everywhere. Ah, boo, I'm ah, so boo. rich! <laughs> Why does everybody have money troubles? I've got so much money. Hey, Rupee. Can I pick this up? There are darn roots. Well, that's Strong a root system, yeah. This is basically teaching you how to... Yeah, if you L-target, you can... Like, make sure to center the because camera. Because you gotta remember, this is a 3D game, and no cameras yet, so... Well, at least no way to control cameras. There's yeah, like, the dual there. stick thing wasn't as big a deal. Crap, where are you going? I'm going to get this, and then I'm going to go around to get this. <laughs> you were right over here! 
I know, but I must keep... I get hit by a rock! The know-it-all brothers to get all answers to your item-related questions. I'm good, I'll just open this up. This is taking forever! I wonder what I want to get... big and fancy! Look at that thing! Look at that sword you just got! We got the Kokiri sword! Now we can equip it by going to the gear section. Like, it's more cinematic, but I... than, like, previous games, but I, for big things, I like that. And now we got a sword to our back. And then, like, there are silly little chests. Eat it, sign! Have, there are silly little chests that don't do that. That just have, like, two rupees in them. You could've made it. I could've, but... Then I have to go like that, and we're not doing that. That would just be annoying. The entire playthrough. I think we got enough for the shield now. Uh, isn't it 50? Is it or 50? Is it 30? Wait, um, I know, well, one way or the other, I know you can go raid uh, Mido's house for a bunch of money. Yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff you can do. To get money. You can cut grass now, so that's one thing you can do. Got lawn services, ahoy. Um, the bushes that we saw just down here, you can run around in and collect money. It's kind of hidden in there. And as as the bushes as well look way more fancy than they did in the 64 version. The 64 version, it was a big block. Oh, man. Oh, one. That's nice. Heck yeah. Okay, five is better. I think this one has one and then the other one has five. That's or five. not. I could have sworn Shut one up, of them game. Like yeah, that's a heart. <laughs> so it's a recovery heart there for some reason. Well, one way or the other, we have 54 hearts now. Yep. We have 54 hearts. We'll never die. Also, we somehow have to fit all of them into our tiny child body. Yes. I like this one, because you can just go... Yay, and they got stuff. And there's a lady up here. And she stops you and tells you how to do L-tarking. Because you kind of need it for stuff later on. Like locking onto things, because... Who'd have thought? Really hard to hit crap in 3D. Add a Z-axis and shit gets wonky. Okay, thank you. I don't know what this L button she's talking about. Why is there a story? Hey, there's that other twin. There's like three twins. It sells things you can get in the forest for free! always bothered me that, like, nobody ever goes into the Kokiri Forest. Why? Yeah, that's so what I was just saying. Why is there a shop here? Also, apparently, we're not welcome. That oh. little, that thing's there is supposed to be us. Oh. It's very rude drawing. Sure, that's not Mido. No. This guy seems pretty cool with you. No, it's, uh, it's us, because we're the only blonde ones. Or maybe Mido put it up, and then everybody's just like, just do what he says. Yeah, it's just Mido. I think you talked to him and he says something. Or he could say just that. Oh, it's 40. We were both wrong. I was closer because I had it at 37. You... What? I said 37. I said we should have enough for the shield. And then you said you're a dickweed and that you're not even going to co <laughs> correctly guess it. Well, everything else here we can get, so let us equip this shield. And now we have a shield. But it always bothered me that, like, Nobody ever goes <laughs> into like everybody's so like scared of this forest and never goes. Yeah, that's into what it. I was just saying. Was like, why is there a shop here? Well, just but they say that, but this t village is like right freaking inside the forest. Yeah. Maybe if you had to go through the lost woods to get to this village, that'd be different. But no, you go in the forest and there's a bridge, and then you're here. Why has there not been more communication <laughs> with the outside world? Oh wait, she's blonde. I forgot about her. Well, she's not welcome either. You're a real man. <gasps> Even though we're ten. <laughs> Spoilers, we're not human. We're Hylian, which is also not Kokiri. You should know this shit by now, people. I'm not spoiling much. And Hylian also... Actually, there is a difference between Hylian and Hyrulean. Oh. Damn. <laughs> I gotta get a lesson while we show off our new sh uh, stuff to Mido. Yeah, um, yeah, um, Link, I believe, is Hylian, but yeah. not everybody is Hylian. I think this Hylian is, actually, is, like, the royal stuff. Or no, like... this was, I think it was revealed in Twilight Princess. Oh, okay. 
But the Hylians are the ones with the pointed ears. Uh, and then the Hyruleans are just everybody else. I think the special thing is that they can use magic, can't they? I don't know. Anymore, I don't think there is much of a difference. Uh, but it comes from, like, a descended time of times past, and... Where did you get that sword? Like, good grief! Lady took my football again. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you, kid. <laughs> still you gonna get out of my way yet? A wimp is still a wimp. Well, aren't you rude? I think... I don't know, if you go around asking, I think people say that he actually hid that sword away from you. <laughs> That's why it's all the way back there. He doesn't want you to get it. But now he goes... Well, I'm gonna go storm off in a huff. Yeah, he, he goes huffing off, and now we're off to go see the Great Deku Tree, and hopefully nothing will attack us along the way. Great Deku Tree of... Ah! Ah! Kill it. Yeah, I got yeah, a Deku we got a Deku stick. stick. I'm sorry I had to murder that. Were you, were you trying to talk to me? Um, you see these things, though, if you cut them horizontally, and this is where, depending on how you kill an enemy, different things can happen. If you cut this one horizontally, it falls over and drops a Deku stick. Yeah, they, these ones don't attack Yeah, you. these don't attack you otherwise. That is a, that is a fanciful mustache. I brought the kid. Is my mission over? Yes. yes. Go home. <laughs> Just eats her. <laughs> and to show how old he is, he talks in the hells and bees. Which many people attribute to Old English, but is not actually Old English. Old English is almost incomprehensible. Yeah, it's like Middle English. Yeah. But it's supposed to give a sense of old. Yeah. Like, it, like he's that old, is that his language hasn't changed. I know, I can't tell the difference between green and yellow anymore. It's driving it's, it's me mad. It's it, it, It's green. And that one's blue! And that's red. And you're a monkey. All those bad dreams of standing there while a lady on a horse rides by, and uh, that, that, that another guy on a horse shows up, and it's just horrible. That sentence All right. these people on horses. That sentence right there is like completely Middle English. Verily, thou hast felt it. How old are you? Apparently old enough to know what verily means. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. When did people speak Middle English? <gasps> Link's doing something with courage. Oh, man. That'll never catch on. Yeah. Uh oh. But can I break it with oh. my wisdom, courage, and power? Yeah, with your wisdom and courage. We, uh, we never said anything about wisdom. We didn't agree to that. How do you use sword? We can do the courage, but no, I don't know about this wisdom thing. Mm, I'm gonna say yes. Man, he can really open his mouth wide. Just a gas cloud comes out. Oh. Why, why do we have to go into your mouth? Are you going to eat us? That's terrifying. Because we have to go inside the Great Deku Tree. Isn't there some other way in? I mean, you're a tree. Why do we have to get eaten? Use button to learn to listen well to use the nav. Listen. Use Navi to listen to Navi. Oh, that's how that works. And with that, we have opened up the Great Deku Tree. Don't go in yet. Oh, that's. That's menacing. Yeah. And, at least for the tutorial and intro, that will do us for the day. So until next time, everyone, we're gonna go see uh, what kind of curse has been bothering that Deku tree. Sounds like fun. I hope there aren't spiders involved. I'm not a fan I'm, of I'm sure there won't be. I mean, it's a tree. Why would there be spiders in there? Mm-hmm.